Hi everyone, my name is Douglas Rudy and I am a computer science major here at the University of Akron and today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about what computer science is and what um, you can expect uh, being a computer science major at the University of Akron as well as some of the misconceptions in the field as well as what jobs are out there for graduates in, in this department. So getting into a definition of what computer science is, um, you might have seen it defined online as the study of computers or the study of computational systems. I would say that those definitions are good, um, but just from a student's perspective, computer science is one where you learn how to program and how to write code and how to design software as well as optimize that software on different environments and in different hardware that it's being run. On. And you learn how to do all of that in both individually and as part of a team, which is really important um, after graduation. Also differentiating computer science from say an engineering field, I would say that computer science doesn't have to take as much math, but it has to take, um, you have to take a little bit more in, the, in terms of programming courses as well, which is good. Um, we also get to take a discrete math course, which is a little bit different um, than maybe what you're used to. Discrete mathematics is uh, completely from a computer's point of view. So you're learning binary, you're learning about um, arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, just from the computer's point of view, which is a little bit interesting. Um, even if you're not necess if you don't consider yourself a math type of person, uh, maybe this course is still interesting to you, you know, uh, so, um, but if you ever have any issues or any questions, uh, the Beers Library at the University of Akron offers a great tutoring service, and I'd also recommend attending office hours uh, for any of your professors. The computer science faculty is really uh, determined to see you succeed. They're very approachable, very helpful, you know, I, I, um, I've had some great experience there and I've learned a lot um, from office hours, so I would, I would highly recommend that. But just as you get started in the introductory level, your first couple semesters, um, you're getting into Computer Science 1 and Computer Science 2. Uh, this is really where you learn um, just a little bit about the hardware side of things. So you're learning about what memory is as well as what input and output devices are. So say your keyboard for input and your monitors for output, um, but for the most part, you're learning about C++. And C++ is a programming language that is actually really big um, for the computer science department. Um, and you'll get very familiar with this language as you complete projects and homework, and um, you get used to solving problems, writing statements. So it's just a great experience overall. And from here, you know, after you've completed those introductory courses, the gates open up. So your options are very diverse and you can kind of um, go in any direction that you want. So whether you're interested in designing websites, if you're interested in working with data, if you're interested in databases and database management, um, or if you're interested in, you know, creating video games or other uh, creative um outlets you know there's there's courses um, designed in this in this department that that really suit your interests so that you can make your degree what you want it to be and um, I think that that's a really big advantage of both the computer science and engineering departments as well um, so getting into uh, what kind of jobs are out there for computer science majors I mean, the, the list is, is, is pretty big. So you can get into, you know, any computer science or maybe even a uh, computer engineering field. Um, you know, there's of course, software development, uh, quality assurance. There's, um, you can get into, you know, database management and also into other computing related fields. So the list goes on. Um, but, now we'll kind of move into some of the misconceptions of computer science. I would say that one big one is that it's all about programming. And while programming is certainly uh, very, a very big part of it, there's other things that, um, that you, you spend a lot of time on too. So there's a lot of math that goes into um, you know, computer science as well. And a lot of it's 
software design, like designing how you want your program to look, how you want it structured. Um, so a lot of a lot of effort goes into that. So it's more than just writing code. Um, so I would say definitely um, that's one of the bigger misconceptions. And one, I don't know if you can call it a misconception, but something that I thought about personally uh, whenever I was getting started was that there was uh, a barrier of entry to uh, computer science. Um, and this couldn't be further from the truth. So me coming in as a complete beginner, I didn't have much background, you know, from high school um, in terms of programming. You know, getting started in computer science one, they assume that you're a complete beginner too. Um, you know, there's nothing that I, that I felt was too fast paced. I felt like I would, I was able to catch on pretty quick, but that being said, if you do have a background in programming, um, from high school, I think that's, that's great. You'll still find a lot of value in a lot of these cor introductory courses. And, um, and from there, I, I think that's a good advantage too. Also, uh, we'll talk about here is, uh, how the University of Akron has prepared me uh, for my recent co-op. Um, so um, I would say that probably the most valuable tool uh, that I've learned at, at my time here at, at UA is how to learn independently. You know, with all these different programming languages, it's a lot to take in and there's a lot to learn and there's not necessarily enough weeks in the semester to cover all of it. So uh, a lot of times whenever you're solving problems or if you get caught up, you know, on a project, um, you might want to look into, you know, new tools and things like that. And, you know, the Internet's a great place for that. And I think, you know, in just my time taking a couple of these courses, I've really learned how to get started. You know, if I were to need to learn a new language entirely or if I just need to learn a couple new key features. Um, I think that the university has prepared me well and getting started in my co-op, it's really paying off. I think that I'm able to get up to speed quicker and, you know, I have the University of Akron to thank for that. Um, but outside of that, I think that covers everything that I wanted to talk about. Um, I hope that this video really helped. Um, it helps you understand the field better. It helped you kind of narrow down your decision, hopefully. Um, and Hopefully you learned a lot. Um, I, I thank you all for watching and I wish you all the best. Thank, thank you.